This is a guide to enhancing your brainstorming techniques using AI. It's no secret that AI is getting better at executing ideas from art to programming. This advancement will shift the workforce in many ways. Since AI will be executing much of the work, every level of the workforce will need to innovate like never before. Coming up with new and novel ideas for problem solving will become the most important skill to develop continuously. Because AI is trained on historical data, creativity and innovation may remain amongst the most valuable skills humans can offer for many years to come. Brainstorming in the AI era demands a fresh approach, and this guide provides strategies for adopting that new approach. All right, so large language models can help us with a ton of things when it comes to brainstorming. This is the list I came up with, understanding the various brainstorming techniques, of which there are many, tailoring those techniques to specific needs, facilitation and knowledge support. That means helping to facilitate the brainstorming, whether that's just with you and ChatGPT or with ChatGPT, you and your team team, gathering insights and feedback, so helping to organize everything that you come up with the large language model or with the team, and continuous learning for process enhancement. Those are the steps we're going to go through today. I have all of this available in my Patreon here. This is a cheat sheet version of everything we're going to go through today. Please consider checking out my Patreon as it helps me on my mission to make sure that these large language models are helping as many different people out there as possible. All right, let's get started with two different approaches. The first approach we're going to look at is going wide, and the second approach is going deep. So let's flip into ChatGPT and start going through this. First of all, I like to start with just listing every different type of brainstorm technique or similar exercise that ChatGPT can think of, and there are a ton. There are so many of these, a few of these I had heard of, but there are many different ways to conduct a brainstorming session. When you were going wide, like this you want to get as many different options as possible so once you have those listed and they're in the context window you can ask we are brainstorming ideas for a new software product for podcasters who want to expand their reach which two or three of these techniques would you recommend and why so with this prompt you're giving it a little context of what you're looking to do who your audience is and what problem you're going to be helping them to solve and then you're asking ChatGPT what of these techniques does it recommend for this it says mind mapping scamper technique and gallery walk Great, can you please facilitate a mind mapping exercise around this topic? Then it goes directly into mind mapping and starts sketching out some pretty unique ideas. And I would guess if you have thought about this problem, there's going to be a few in here that you have already thought of, which is great validation, but there's going to be a few in here that you haven't thought of. So getting ChatGPT to list out all these different things using these different brainstorming frameworks is very helpful before you're just jumping in and trying to just decide a few features that came to mind first. Okay, now can you please help facilitate a scamper exercise around this same topic? Please think outside of the box. Sometimes urging it to be creative can be helpful. If you're using this through an API, you can dial up the temperature, which is the creativity that these uh, models use to generate their outputs and it comes up with some pretty interesting things here substitute combine adapt this is all the scamper method which is a really cool method I learned about from chat GPT and it's been very helpful when I'm brainstorming a lot of different ideas for this channel and for all the different things I do helping with my coaching clients etc so these are walking through then the scamper technique which these are two of the different techniques that it came up with and recommended for this specific specific problem and finally I asked it can you please facilitate a gallery walk which was the third type of brainstorming framework that it came up with and this one was really unique this is not one that can be done directly in the AI but it actually walks through a process of setting up a bunch of different stations and having different stakeholders go around from station to station and think about all of the different aspects of this particular problem that we're trying to solve, this particular problem that we're trying to generate ideas for. Really cool idea for getting the team engaged and getting them to pull together some ideas for whatever you're trying to solve. But this can go in many different directions. Again, these are just three of, I think, 30 different ideas for different frameworks that it came up with here. All right, now I want to flip into 
Anthropics Claude, which has a much larger context window. You can think of the context window as the working memory that it has access to. In ChatGPT, we generated a lot of different ideas there, and it was really too much, I think, for ChatGPT's context window currently to summarize all that. So I copy it and paste all of that into a text document, upload that into Anthropics Claude. You can see this is the document, and I ask it to summarize based on the key points here can you help highlight themes or patterns from our recent ideation sessions so in this way we're using anthropics Claude it's extended working memory to summarize everything from our ideation process and if you've done this with the team you've jotted all this down those documents you want to load in and you can load them in very messy many different documents ask it for some summarization looking for patterns and highlighting themes and anthropics Claude did a great job here of of looking at this detailed mind map and scamper analysis and found some of the most important patterns that came up multiple times in those brainstorming sessions. All right, so that was the first approach going wide. Now I wanna jump into the second approach going deep. This one starts with a very simple prompt. It just says, I'd like to start, I'd like to do a brainstorming session with you. Can you ask me a few questions to get started? And ChatGPT generates a lot of questions. I should note we're using ChatGPT for the plus version, the paid version. I highly recommend that for all of this important work. But it'll generate a ton of questions. You don't need to answer all of them, and you don't need to answer them with fully thought out, long form answers. I've found that just some quick and dirty answers can get you going pretty quickly. So I answered all of these in a little paragraph here. This use case is generating some ideas, doing a brainstorm session around creating a social media presence for an accounting service. So you can imagine that might be difficult to make accounting sexy and make accounting go viral. The important part of this prompt after you are answering all these questions is to add in this little bit here. Before jumping into help, remember that this is a brainstorming session. Please give as many diverse ideas related to this as you can. What are some unconventional ways to approach this? If you don't add this, ChatGPT is going to just start trying to sketch out a full social media plan for you. And that's not what you want on a brainstorm session. You want to just keep the ideas flowing and not just jump to a plan. It needs constant reminding like this. You'll see this something similar in the next prompt to just keep generating ideas before you start sketching out a whole plan. That's the whole goal here with brainstorming. So it says, great, let's think outside of the box. It generates some good ideas. Some of these were not so good. So in this list, I found two that I thought were pretty cool. Finance horoscope. I thought that was very cute. That was something that I could see people getting excited about, telling other people about. All the others were sort of kind of what you might expect, a little bit boring, but it is accounting, so it's hard to make it interesting. I thought this finance horoscope was an interesting angle that might work. And I also thought that this financial fitness tracker. So tying into the fitness world, which is very popular online, but getting people to think of their financial fitness as a financial fitness tracker, this I thought was an interesting theme for an accounting social media campaign. So I came back with this response. Numbers six and 15 resonate with me the most because they are so unique and tie into areas other than accounting. Please ge generate as many ideas like this as you can. And boom, this is when it started to really deliver the goods. So came up with some accounting yoga. So getting creative, thinking about ways to attach accounting to yoga. And remember, you can come back to ChatGPT and help you create the content for all these things. You might think, yeah, that's a great idea, but how do those two things relate? And I've found that ChatGPT is a great asset for that. So if you're looking at specifically these different social media campaign ideas, know that you're going to have this large language model helping you you crafting these ideas whatever you're brainstorming I think you can not vet them just thinking about how hard it might be to come up with accounting yoga ideas but knowing that ChatGPT might be able to generate a bunch of different ideas around that specific format for a social media campaign 
These I thought were really cool. Accounting, cooking the books literally. Cooking segment where you make a dish while explaining an accounting concept. I thought this stuff was just beautiful. These are really outside of the box. These are not things that would be easy to come up with and accounting aromatherapy. So you can really see how these are the type of things that might work on social media and might be something that people could tell other people about rather than just your basic accounting or finance information. I said these are good to continue this brainstorm. Please generate some analogies and metaphors that might apply. Make sure that each metaphor includes some action, like doing stand-up comedy or running for political office. The more unique the metaphor, the better. The goal is to think as divergently as possible here. So I got this idea from a book called A Whack on the Side of the Head, which is a book about creativity, and it talks a lot about the importance of metaphors, specifically metaphors that use actions. So I thought this was a very cool way to get some additional ideas here coming out of this social media campaign, tuning a guitar, juggling fire, all sorts of different analogies, metaphors, etc., that can help get some creative juices flowing for the accounting social media presence. Here's another one that has been very helpful. What lessons and mental models can I apply from other disciplines? What can we borrow from these to further enhance our brainstorm? This is an idea that I got from Charlie Munger, who is the right-hand man of Warren Buffett. He talks about this multidisciplinary approach, utilizing all different concepts from science and economics and psychology and applying those to whatever problem you're trying to solve. And sure enough, it came up with a lot of different ideas around these other disciplines, looking at these other approaches to your specific problem. So you can then do something very similar, taking all of the responses from that, putting it into Claude, getting it to summarize, getting it to look for different themes and topics and further refine it based on Claude's enhanced context window. And that wraps up the two different approaches. There are a couple more things I want to go over with you. Brainstorming prompts to continuously learn and continuously improve this process of brainstorming. Here are a few different prompts that you might want to take a screenshot of to just keep those creative juices flowing and keep your mind sharp when it comes to brainstorming. And finally, the end goal of any brainstorming session is really not to decide an action plan, but to come up with as many different ideas as possible. But from that, a little bit of organization can help. The documented list of ideas, like I showed you with Anthropics Claude, can be a great way to come up with a executive summary of everything that you have discovered. And then you want to make sure to keep everything that is useful. There's going to be some ideas that may not be useful, but I think it's important to keep as many that might possibly work documented as possible. You might give it a day or two and think, you know what, that idea that I was allergic to at first, there might be something to that. Some of the ones that you object to the most may actually be the best ideas because they are so unconventional. So you want to keep all of those documented. Thinking about next steps, so responsibilities and timelines for vetting those ideas, that's a whole other topic I hope to do another video on, vetting and uh, looking through the ideas to find the winners. Or your next step might be, we need some further exploration. We found a little piece of something that's interesting. We need another brainstorm session on that specifically. A feedback mechanism is always useful as well. So establishing a way to gather feedback on the brainstorming process itself so that future sessions can be even more productive. This might be notes to yourself if you're just doing this with ChatGPT. Might be some enhancements to these prompts that you've made that work best for your specific use cases. Or it might be some notes on how well the team performed and some ideas on how to improve that going forward. Again, I have all of this in my Patreon for my Patreon subscribers. Check that out. There is a ton more here. Uh, I list all of these prompts we went through and many more that are organized in a way to really help you with all of your very important future brainstorming sessions. It even has a section here on brainstorming topics. So thinking of all the different things that you could be brainstorming about is I think pretty useful. It also has those brainstorming techniques listed here as well. That's in my Patreon. Please check that out. I also have some 
coaching options in there. If you're looking for somebody to help you implement AI with your team, that's something I've been doing for a while now. I'd love to chat with you about how best to do that. And the Patreon is the way that I keep this channel going and keeps me on my mission to make sure that these large language models are benefiting as many different people as possible out there. So give that a look. Please give me a uh, thumbs up if you got something out of this video. Consider subscribing and commenting and I'll see you on the next video. Make your dreams come true. Just do it.